Only on 7 tonight, one of the victims struck by a car that crashed into a Montgomery County Sam's Club speaks exclusively with us. Three people were hurt at the Gaithersburg store, including, including rather, a man in his 70s who lost part of his leg. Tom Rousey live now outside that store with this frightening ordeal. Tom? And witnesses say it was absolutely terrifying, Leon. They tell me that a Buick in this parking lot was going down a row, blew through a stop sign, and then hit a woman who was walking with two young children in the crosswalk right there. Then the car kept going at a high rate of speed into the store through that area where you see the blue tarp there. That's when the car hit two more people, one of which we talked to just a short time ago. Tonight, crews are working to repair the damage where the car tore through the store. You can still see the tire tracks. Suddenly, you know, just I heard the, the explosion. Tong Boy was one of three people injured when police say 77-year-old Subanoy Mazumdar drove his Buick LeSabre into the store. Tonight, Tong has abrasions over much of his body, with the worst pain being in his right arm. He didn't even slow down. Police say the first person hit was Sheila Oriana, who pushed her one and three year old out of the way just in time. Then the car plowed into the store and hit Tong and 76 year old Dimas Chavez of Potomac, who were both in line at the food court. Chavez's leg was amputated in the crash. Tong says the car didn't stop until it crashed into a giant Gatorade display. The old man inside the vehicle, he still uh, put on the gas, you know, the cash still running forward and somebody, you know, get in the vehicle and uh, cut up the engine. Even though you were injured, do you feel <coughs> kind of lucky to be alive? Yeah, I do. Uh, I, I thank God, you know. And crews are still out here working at this hour. A manager tells me he is hopeful the store can reopen tomorrow here in Gaithersburg. Tonight, everyone is out of the hospital except for Dimas Chavez, the man who lost part of his leg in that crash. As far as why the driver of the Buick did this and whether or not he faces any charges, police say that's still under investigation tonight, but they do say he was conscious and coherent in talking to them shortly after this happened. Live in Gaithersburg in Montgomery County, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News.